And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Thrash to kick off Rank Up Sunday. We're going to be playing four tried and true decks that we've had a lot of success with here on the stream. Starting with Darius Thrash. This one's just a, a classic for, for us and uh, we've always done pretty well with it. Um, it's not too flashy, but it, it gets the job done. Basically, we're starting with the um, Shadow Isle start that's uh, similar to They Who Endure where we have like Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, we have that kind of stuff. But then we're going to be uh, doing a lot of Nexus damage also, where we have Imperial Demolitionist and Doom Beast, and we can double up on those cards with Stalking Shadows. Um, as far as more uh, Nexus damage, we got Noxion Fervor in here. And so we're trying to get them down underneath 10, and then we can have Leveled Up Darius be a 10-6 that can finish games out. And... Um, if that's not enough, we got Atrocity to go with Darius. So it's kind of like They Who Endure um, Atrocity, kind of, but we're not weak to Hush, right? Like our Darius will still be um, like a 10-6, even if they Hush it, <laughs> and just it doesn't get rid of, just gets rid of the Overwhelm. Um, Thresh does a great job controlling the board, um, helping us out in the mid game. Our deck, I just like like this deck. This deck's pretty good. All right, so let's go let's go play our five games over in ranked. Hopefully have a really good day like we did yesterday. We'll certainly take those records. So yeah, yesterday we had um, three four ones and a 3-2, which is awesome. Uh, we love that kind of day again today. But let's see how we do. So we got Darius Thresh. We're going to play Mountain Diana. Where we'll do all sorts of invoking. That will be second. Um, we'll try Keg Control, which Keg Control is great against aggro. It's a... It's a Shadow Isles Bilge Water deck that's designed to beat aggro, so we'll see how that does. Um, hopefully we get paired against a lot of aggro with that. And then just mid-range Frostbite, a deck that I just think is awesome. Yeah, nothing nothing new with the current version of mid-range Frostbite. It's gonna be just like the just like the old versions that we've played uh, plenty of times before. I'm going to... There's no real reason... I guess... Yeah, there's no real reason not to play the Precious Pet. And just attack first. Because even if they play a blocker, they would still just be blocking, like, my 2-1 and they'd still take 2. Okay. So they, they have a blocker, so it's the same. Yeah, I think that would also work. Yeah, if you want to just... Yeah, if you wanted to do, like... Um, stop the kind of deck you're talking about. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright, Warren's Prey is going to be a better thing to block. Um, yes, yeah, so you're talking about just, just playing like the regular They Who Endure list, but swap out Darius. You, I think you can do that, because the They Who Endure plays hardly any Freljord cards. And so you could easily switch that over to Noxus and play Darius, and then you'd have, like, you know, Noxion Fervor or some better aggressive early things as well, if you would like. Um, so I guess I block... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Darn, it's only going to be 9. I was hoping this is going to be 10 cards for them. No, I guess not. Okay, I was thinking... I was thinking we block the Mountain Goat here so that that we attack back and then if they block it kills it but actually no they have the one mana they can heal their mountain goat so that's not really worth it so it's basically attack or attack right away do four damage to them or play a couple of these things and then it's you know play like the undying first before attacking. If they're going to be going Tom Kench, Tom Kench can't block any of these. Uh, but it does, like right now they have 10 cards in hand, so if we attack they don't actually get a gem. I'm not, I don't think that gem really matters. Let's play the Undying first. I make shepherding look easy. Yeah, so another 2-7. Two 2-7s seven. Two can't block Fearsome. So that was good to play the Undying first. The problem, of course, is this broad-backed Protector is going to be healing their Nexus quite a bit. 
Wow, all right, so they didn't cast a gem, so they don't get this card. All right, Noxion Fervor to go along with... Yeah, like, I want a Noxion Fervor this Mountain Goat, but I guess, yeah, they're holding up Bastion right now. Hmm. Like, Noxion Fervor with the Undying is pretty awesome. Yeah, gem, I understand the gem, like gems can matter at that point, but does the does the fifth gem really matter that much? I don't know. Could be a surprise thing to die, as far as Thresh is concerned. Everyone's a garden. That's a good draw. Challenge here. We're going to challenge. Here. I guess we have to kill this thing. Where are you at now? Seven? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna make it so they can't heal the, the mountain go. Five out of six here, so we can have a surprise kill with a cost. We can have a surprise cost of cask level up if we want. So they should be healing their lounging lizard. Well, I, guess, I guess they're yeah, their lounging lizard would stay alive anyway. Surprise. So I'm not super worried about my Nexus into the future, right I now. Not too worried about that. I mean, I don't know. Do I, do I have to Atrocity and kill this Lounging Lizard? I guess I guess Pill Cascade's a big problem. I was thinking that'd be healing with Doom Beast. No, 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 no. But I guess Pill Cascade's a big problem. Alright, I had two atrocity. Oh no, okay, good. But I guess Pill Cascade would have saved it from atrocity anyway. All right, so we'll be able to bring along a 10-6 Overwhelm Darius. With this attack. That's a great draw. Oh, 
Um, is there a 10? We have we have atrocity, we have noxion fervor. So feeling pretty good about this one. We'll see what they got. We got four cards left that you know, so obviously the gems don't do anything, so they have four cards that can do something. Guiding touch, I'm glad they didn't play that before, and GG's. Darius Thresh with the win. Yeah, I think that's I think that's perfectly acceptable to have uh, Captain Fair instead of Rekindler. Yeah, that's that's also good. Um, they're both good. I I don't necessarily like Rekindler more than Captain Fair, and I either one's good. All right, so Curse Keeper can't block, and that's a problem. We need to be able to block. I don't think I've really played this matchup too much. Ugh. I think this is going to be a diff uh, kind of a new matchup. Anything else? <laughs> Explosives primed. Well, I like Unspeakable Horror, but I also want to uh, I want to be able to get the Nightfall from it. I have my orders. Do we have to just not get the Nightfall from it? I think we gotta use it. It's unfortunate. Damn it. We're getting extra bodies from Stalking Shadows. We're getting extra body from Warden's Prey. Yeah, that's an aggressive start. So this would have been turn two, they'd have three three ones and a two one attacking and two of the three ones d would deal one damage to you all of that attacking on turn two crazy thorny toad's a good one sneak in a point of damage Wish I could Culling Strike that thing. That works. That was the best card for me to see. Just leave me alone. So we're down to six. Prey is awesome. Like the only reason why we're in this game is because of Warden's Prey. Card's so underrated. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. So we either go, you know, we either kill the Thorny Toe, gain the two life, make sure that we're at eight, or we can maybe kind of do that as like a surprise thing with the fervor. And we can get war you we can kill the Warden's Prey and maybe be able to double spell again. Yeah, I don't want can't block. We need to block. All right. So the good news about that is that maybe my calling strike kills their Draven now. With them not having those spinning axes. Sure. Use a Draven's Whirling Death just to keep the 2-2 alive? I don't know. So, yeah, I guess they're just spending three mana for that 2-2. Oh, well, that card... Um, that card shuts down my Culling Strike. 
Okay, I was going to say, I could definitely see them playing that Daring Poro first. Alright, so we're going to be blocking Draven and then Noxion Fervoring the thing that blocks Draven. Search them. Nope. Hold. Give them a chance! The thing is, I want I want Noxion Fervor to kill Jinx. I'm very worried about Jinx. We do have Atrocity, though. Cool. Arrowing? Pass turn. Let's see what they do. I'm on the verge of something. Probably about as good as a cooling strike can do. And I'm playing Darius. Mine is the hand of Noxus. We have four brand new cards that could definitely be. Yeah, they could definitely have some really good stuff over there. Good stuff over there. Who's ready to wreck it? Is it what, 13? Thanks, Dynamito. Glad you like the Twisted University. This won't be a fair fight. So we're either going to be at at most two, at least zero. <laughs> so hopefully not zero. Oh, Vision was the last card. Man, so they had they had incredible opener. GGs. Incredible opener, and then, man, that, that draw three, that was awesome. The stuff they got there. At the end. I was thinking maybe the harrowing could save us. Whoa. We're going to want cards that cost under six mana, please. Thank you. Warren's Prey was perfect for us last game. That's the reason why we were able to stay in it. The chains, they never stop. I gotta get out of here. You could just demolitionist the Warren's Prey. I think I think so. Remember the objectives. And maybe I should have just done this first, because this kind of deck doesn't usually play anything on turn two. So I, I could have maybe got an additional point of damage in with that attack. I was really hoping they were going to play the 04, and I was going to Culling Strike the 04. That's what I was really hoping. Um, I'm just going to pass. I want to, you know, have the Nightfall with this other stuff. Clear it out! really hoping they'd have the 04. No trundle. That's good news. Seven six overwhelm. So I block there, and then challenge with dart or challenge with thrash. Hmm. 
Not as good. Not as good. Mine is the hand of Noxus. Your command, General Darius. None shall oppose me. Do you of course have Rekindler that can bring back Darius for me. So that's two things dying here for Thrash. It's gonna be an interesting turn. I won't let you play your tricks. We play our treats. So that's two more dying for Darius. This would be three dying for Darius. Turn that into a 9-9. Nine nine, which usually would be pretty scary. I mean, we also don't have to turn that into a 9-9. Nine nine. We can just block like here. Keep it at an 8-3. And I keep the 4-4 four, four in play. Yeah, like with Atrocity being a thing, like I'd have Unspeakable Horror. So like even if, if I block here, I don't have to be worried about Atrocity. Because of Unspeakable Horror. Um, I think it makes more sense to block here, and they're at 16. I want to do this. The blocking doesn't even matter because of the overwhelm if I'm doing this. Um, but, oh well. I guess... I guess maybe I can't do that. Okay, actually... <clears throat> okay, that was actually probably bad. Hey, what's up, boot? I should have done the 4-1. I should have I should have put the, that on the 4-1. I didn't recalibrate. Alright, my 4-4. Four, four, I should have turned this into a 4-1. Because I want to do the 3 damage to them. Try to have this thing being a 10-6. Alright, so I did just put myself dead to Atrocity. That was my... That's my bad. I should just have this being a 4-1. Okay. That is acceptable. I think I messed this, this game up. Let's create another Nightfall card. Cool. So I played Thresh here over playing Darius because Thresh blocks Trindamir better. Now not a 10, 10 6 anymore. Yeah, Dar yeah, that's a good question. Is Darius the only champ that can de-level? Because yeah, Darius was leveled up and now not leveled up. Is Darius the only champ that can do that? Staying at one unspeakable horror kills me. Ten mana. That's gonna be eight. If I play this, I don't get calling strike. 
Enraged Yeti. That's interesting. There you are. Could still definitely kill them. Oh, okay, he was never leveled in the first place. That's right. The combat damage didn't hit, so he didn't actually level up. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So we're going to have Yeti, Yeti... Oh, I guess I can only have one Yeti attacking. So I need to be able to put another Darius into play. Alright, how do we want to challenge these? Want to challenge the things with the biggest health? I guess these are the three things with the biggest health. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? We should have another Darius in the deck. We should have another Darius in the deck. We've only played two, right? No, do we? I played another Darius? We've played three? Hey, what's up, Reese? Good morning. Good morning. Alright, same kind of matchup. Maybe I should be keeping Glimpse Beyond and not mulliganing it so much. With them uh, killing all my stuff. Uh, I like this. I can see Warden's Prey getting us the Undying, and we have like Glimpse Beyond for that, and all that kind of stuff. That's a good Curse Keeper draw. Card we haven't seen too much of. For the Empire. Let's get that four three. For the glory of Noxus. All right, down to 13. Another good draw. King of Trolls coming through. Remember the objective. Let's do this. I don't think I want to just kill my 1-1. One, one. Do it like this. So I have two options. I can I can block and go glimpse beyond, or I can wait next turn. Blighted caretaker. The problem with the blighted caretaker line is, is like avalanche. Hey, broken arrow. I'm gonna go with this route. Block and sacrifice. Because we know we're getting the draw two. Hmm. I would like to go Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker, but that takes up four spots because we have the four three, the and then the three two ones, and obviously we can't have four spots. Uh, let's see. I guess the good part about that would be that play would be good against Avalanche, though. We'd only get one two one to challenge, um, but that would be a good play against Avalanche. Their blocks wouldn't be too good. So I think that works. Let's try that. These old eyes still see far and clear. Everyone's a garden. If we went with a thorny toad, we wouldn't have the four three, and we'd have another. Oh no! This goes like that. Oh no! 
We get the extra two ones and no four three. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, definitely should have gone Thorny Toad. It's alright if I, you know, challenge these, attack, that's 10 damage. Still a lot of damage. I guess no wither- like, if they had Withering Whale, they should play with the Withering Whale immediately, so no Withering Whale. All right, so they're back up to four. So if they tap out, which Ice Pillar is not tapping out, but if they tap out, we could Atrocity. I can't, I, I don't think I should, I don't think I should Atrocity as soon as possible. Like, I don't think I should Atrocity and then they can respond with all the, the different life gain cards they have. Um, the early part is the, you know, the revitalizing roar, but I, I don't think this is a revitalizing roar deck. I don't expect them to be playing that card. I'm just gonna pass over to them, see what they do. What will you have? So what do I do? Do I just Nocturne Fervor them? I, I really wish I could Nocturne Fervor and play Thresh. Like that's what I that's what I want to do, but I can't do both of those. No I can't do what I want to do. Bow to your king. I fix that. You can see the Demacian border from here. These old eyes still see far and clear. Okay, what do we get here? Doom Beast? <clears throat> no Doom Beast. There's going to be a lot of things dying for leveling up our Thresh. Yes, they won't Avalanche, right? Because, yeah, then we would just level up Thresh. That'd be great if they did, but they won't. So I don't want to kill these Avaros and Sentries and give them more cards. That's not something I want to do. So I guess I just do this. Because this thing has regeneration, so no reason to pull that. Oh, I wish I could play that. Yeah, so they got Atrocity, and they think that, that I can't stop Atrocity. That's what I'm guessing. I know this Thresh can die. Okay, I guess that's a problem. No, we could not have fervored and put pulled a thresh out last attack. No, we had to have you'd have to have everything die before combat and all that stuff. Would have, all those ephemerals would have died during combat. Our thresh is only at one. Yep, they did the atrocity. This is why I shouldn't say that every time that I say like a, a deck's really good, then I just lose every time with it. Playing for a couple months.
So obviously this is like a, a Blighted Caretaker mirror match. I, th I think we keep our Blighted Caretakers to fight their Blighted Caretakers. So both of our two decks are doing kind of the same thing. Where are you? I must get out of here. There isn't very much hush around anymore, as far as so your maze people play they who endure because of hush. There's not that much hush around anymore. This has been a card that we haven't really seen very much in any of these games. I'll just do this. I don't really want to use the Blighted Caretaker and get the, like, saplings that won't really do anything. Obviously, I do want the Escaped Abomination to be able to uh, uh, help keep the Callista in check. Thanks, Big Alfredo. Just as felt like I have not been on my game. We did great yesterday. We had an awesome day yesterday. One of our best win rate days in a, you know, maybe ever. In a long time. It's him. Alright, so we'll have Thresh challenge Callista. So this has multiple problems with it. It's going to put my Thresh down to um, 4 health, but then it also bumps up their Callista to 4 health. So their Callista is going to level up. Your path ends here. That still doesn't level up my... Let's see, because that's going to be one, two, three. That'll be three things dying, so that'll be four out of six. We'll just let this happen. I'm going to be leveling up my Thresh before we attack next turn. That's the plan. And that plan shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. <laughs> yeah, that play with the double 30-30 was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> From yesterday. Get double catastrophe. <laughs> That's something you don't see every day. Alright, so that's five for Thresh. Light of Caretaker killing Curse Keeper will be six. I guess they have Callista Black Spear. Maybe they're thinking about playing. Yeah. Every betrayal sharpens our resolve. Everyone's a garden. Of course, killed our two one, so we have the room for the four three this time. So I killed my two one. We hopefully put a Darius into play. I'll handle this myself. Please, I have connections. Yes. So we killed Callista, plus they played a Callista Black Spear last turn. My saplings. For so we should be good with this atrocity draw. We got this. 
because I, I needed to kill my 2 1 so I could free up room for putting my 4 3 into play. They should be playing um, They Who Endure. Alright, we should be good. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, no reason to rush it. We could just kind of wait because we could have just gone to our attack step and, and attacked and see what else they have. But of course, at that point, maybe they have vengeance. But um, yeah, so there we go. Um, so a little disappointing here with the Darius Thresh with the two and three. Like I was saying before, I, I feel like those middle three games, um, maybe I could have done some extra stuff. They weren't easy games. And I didn't, I didn't have any like big misplays. It's just like the whole, the whole sequencing. I feel like I could have been sequencing differently to put me in a better position to win. And, and none of them were games that I definitely could have won either. Like you know, like so it was, it was just kind of frustrating of of uh, what I was doing wasn't working. And I, I, you know, wish I would have taken different lines, but. Uh, anyway, that's that's Darius Thresh. I do like this deck quite a bit still, and um, you know, like the, lost a couple of those that got out atrocitied. That happened, you know, that can happen for sure. Um, played against three atrocity decks, and we went one and two in the atrocity decks. You know, we won that last one, lost two others in there. Um, so that, that could definitely happen, getting out atrocitied. Um, the so that was that was two of our losses were those were those atrocities. And uh, then our other one was the discard deck, where that discard deck, man, their hand was super impressive. Turn two, attacking with three three ones and a two one, and two of the three ones, you know, were Legion, uh, the Legion saboteurs that do one damage to you. So you, you just start at eighteen, um, and then also attacking for eleven, <laughs> so thirteen total damage coming in on turn two. And then we we did stabilize. We got them down to one card left, and their their one card left was the the thing that draws three, the six drop that draws three, and they drew a lot of good stuff immediately and killed me in like two two other turns. So very impressive from them. Um, and you know, like that that's just going to be a loss that happened. So all three, of those, you know, like so I don't feel necessarily too bad about like the matchups that we were losing. So all those are, are definitely understandable, but I feel with both of those uh, atrocity mirrors that we lost that um, maybe I could have finagled my way into a win if I would have uh, sequenced in a, in, a, in a different way. But who knows? All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. I appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Darius Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.